All right, let's get rolling here again. I'm sure Luna likes this. No uh, rocky ballast, nice and smooth and fairly flat here. So again, you can hear the Matawan River uh, running beside us. There is, uh, you know, like you look at maps and it says the Shabanawan River and then the sign on the highway says the Matawan River. Um, the Matawan is formed by the confluence of the, the Matawan and uh, the Shabanawan River. And then there's a whole bunch of other tributaries as well. On another map, it shows as the Dog River, which is over there. And the Dog River sometimes is referred to as the Kamenistiqua River. The Dog River flows out of Dog Lake, right? So, so very, very confusing. So again, nice uh, section here, running alongside the river. Uh, lots of, uh, lots of, you know, sort of curves and things like that. Um, we are continuing to climb. We've climbed, uh, I said 1042, so we've climbed 15 feet already. Like I said, I literally coasted all the way down. I don't think I pedaled at all uh, coming east. Uh, so this, this was one of, the, uh, one of the things with this railway line. The uh, Grand Trunk Pacific NTR line went way over budget when they built it because they had some pretty stringent... Um, um, requirements in terms of the grade and things like that. Let's cross over to the other side here so you can see the Matawan. Now, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, maybe just up there. Uh, we actually have two rail lines on the other side. So closest to us, uh, we have the uh, Canadian Pacific, the Canadian Pacific uh, Kansas City, their Nip uh, sorry, Nipigon subdivision, their Kaministiqua subdivision, which runs from Thunder Bay to Wraith. And just above it, you have the, um, the Canadian National Tracks. So the Canadian National Kashibawi Subdivision, which we, uh, uh, which we mentioned. So as I was saying, lots of very strict stipulations uh, for this line in terms, of its, uh, uh, in terms of its gradients and things like that. Lots of very um, gentle curves, right? Not very sharp curves. Um, sorry. I'm trying to see we have a we have a, a point of interest here i'm gonna make sure i don't go buy it okay i did go buy it all right let's backtrack now one of the most challenging things to do on this rail line is figure out mileages um because the, the mileage is on the line changed so many times with the um, with the changing of the companies, right? From uh, the Grand Trunk Pacific uh, to the Canadian Government Railways to Canadian National Railways. So according to the mileage, this is where this bridge is supposed to be. Somewhere in this area here. I don't know, it doesn't look like there's a bridge. So it's either here or it's a little bit farther ahead. Again, doesn't look like there would be anywhere here that you potentially have a, a bridge. Does it really make sense? Now, the reason why I wanted to point this out, so it's either here, or it's either farther ahead. Um, so um, 1924, 1925, there was a, 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 a slow order um, in, this, uh, in this particular area. And the reason for it um, was, uh, likely there was a deterioration of the bridge so maybe here somewhere uh, i don't know um you know maybe it hadn't been replaced since the line was built and they weren't going to replace it because um the uh um you know the line was going to be abandoned um but there was a slow order it said six miles per hour uh over the uh, over the bridge so i'll flash that up Okay, so we're back to where we left off from. The barking dogs. The dogs are gonna be barking at us again. So again, you can see the rail lines on the south bank of the river. The uh, Canadian Pacific Kansas City line would have been built through here in the 1870s. The Canadian Northern line would have been built between 1899 and 1902. So 
you can probably see a little bit better now. No trains, I heard, uh, heard one a little bit earlier. All right, so we have another feature up here. So we're coming up, passing through uh, the only real rock work on this section here that we're doing. So you can see it's, I don't know, 12 feet, something like that. A little bit on the other side. See little, some vestiges of snow. There's that wind. Okay, let's, uh, let's hold up here for a second. And then uh, we don't have too much further to go before we're done. All right, let's keep plugging along. So here we got another little depression. So potentially here could have been yet again another spot where that uh, where that little trestle was with the slow order. Again, we're continuing to climb here. So we've climbed 18 feet. From where I checked it by uh, by the pit. You, you can see that it's there, there's an incline and this line um, certainly had issues with uh, with it uh, with it with the inclines. Uh, literally we're climbing from Lake Superior which is like 600 feet above sea level um, and this line has to go cross over the height of land, which is like 1,600 feet. So there's a thousand feet of climb that it has to do. Not right away, but again, there's a lot of mitigation that was done to try to address that. Now, what the heck do I have here on my GPS? So I again, the mileages are really confusing on this line so i've marked here again the spot where that slow order bridge was so i'll flash that um, timetable up again again there's a big culvert here so this could have likely have been where this bridge was located pretty good flow of water so yeah this could have been the location of that that uh, slow order sign And literally, we're uh, we're done because I can see my I can see my truck up ahead. So the grade, it sort of straightens out here. Not as many curves. 1072. So. 72, 30 feet. Oh yeah, we've climbed 30 feet because it was 1042 at the pit. So again, lots of, uh, lots of incline here. Yeah, and you can see all the embankment work in this uh, in this area. Again, indicative of being alongside the Madeline River and lots of little tributaries, lots of little creeks and things that are flowing towards the uh, that are flowing towards the the river itself. All right, so we've uh, basically arrived at the end of this uh, this section running from the river crossing uh, up into here so the grade continues up ahead we're gonna stop here and we're gonna pick that up in a um, we're gonna pick that up in the next episode um, we're gonna be coming in from the uh, we're gonna be coming in from the other direction 
Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed uh, today's exploration and all the things that we've seen. Again, some really interesting things with the uh, with the bridge and the very well preserved grade and the and the pit. Uh, and then uh, this nice little bike ride, kind of chilly bike ride along the uh, along the railway grade. So again, we're going to be coming back to uh, to do this section. I have done this section before, so I am familiar with it. But we are going to update it and redo it. And uh, so in the meantime. Uh, we'll be back just as soon as we can with uh, more episodes, so thanks for tuning in.